Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to Psychonauts. Just near the main large area, if one was curious. I've been having some mic static issues that we've restarted the game from scratch in order to try to uh, prevent. Or, not the game, but my, you know, you know. And so I'm just here in the limbo of wondering whether or not it's worked. As I sound perfectly crystal clear in my own head at all times, as per usual. And that is not often the case of reality exterior to my own brain. How's it sounding there? And welcome back. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I'm so sorry for the technical hiccups. Hey, you finished half of the scavenger hunt, so you've qualified for the first half of your prize. Go see Ranger Ford for your big promotion. I'd love to thank you. All right, so we did get some cards. We did not uh, speak with Ford, who was working in the main lodge. We're trying to find him in order to turn in our uh, side challenge markers, I believe. Let me try the bacon phone from out here. I'm still not sure if I am live or scratching wildly at you. I'll probably wait for confirmation. Hey, Ford. It's me. Uh, mm, do I need him to regroup back at HQ? Is that, in fact, what I need? Hello, hello, yes. I live. I live again. I'm live. So nice to see you guys. I hope I'm sounding somewhat present, available. My phone is buzzing. One moment. Oh, good. It's not about the technical issues. I was thinking, good, static is better. Okay. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so sorry for the, for the ghost in the machine there. I'm not sure what that was. It was... Because Locke was watching Cowboy Bebop, that's why. You've brought Ghost in the Machine upon us, due to old anime references. It's fine. I'm so glad that it's cleared up. So, I think I would like to try this, because I do need to turn in some challenge markers. I just don't know where he is at the moment. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawler up. So let me check first, before we bother him and say regroup at headquarters. That sounds very official. Let me check the TV room in here. See if I can manually pop any brains back in. We need about 400 arrowheads for that magnet upgrade. Which I would dearly love. Okay, I guess he's moved them last time. They were here when they started losing their brains. But Ford moved them to an isolation chamber down in his sanctuary, I think. So I'm pretty sure I need forward to do this. I will try the uh, regroup at HQ option. And then the other thing, when I got that gold doubloon, he said go to the wilderness area. Let me get that out of the way real quick first here. So sorry. Scatterbrained. Gotta get past the pyrokinetic mountain lion. Ah! Without bursting into flame. So, Ranger Ford. I think he's in the wilderness. Maybe that way. He might also be in the like campfire Let's area. I confuse that. <laughs> I I've forgotten that I unlocked the upgrade that makes this little levitation ball damaging when I'm going at full speed. It actually does damage now, and I rolled right over a squirrel without thinking about it. My apologies to the squirrel family. I did not expect Raz to so casually shout, See in hell! What a great game. Ranger Ford. Let's turn in our scavenger hunt. you gotta help. Kids are getting kidnapped and everyone's missing. And their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well now, you see what mm -hmm. happens when you go to parts of the forest. That about covers it. Won't you help? I'm a ranger. It's not why it happened, but... Problems wrangling okay. These leaves. Now get. Hey, check it, it out. It does look like a rough pile of leaves. Hunt. I'll Holy leave you to smokes, it. Holy smokes, look at that. 
Well then, thank you the for setting me right there. I really appreciate you guys. Glad it sounds better. All right, offensive shield. Enemies who use melee attacks when you're shielded are knocked back. The chonky squirrel on your balcony says that he will get revenge. In chittery squirrel now language, one has to so. Oh, he'll get me. He'll get me with that chunk. Let's see if I can summon up any dowsables. Hmm? Hmm, dowsables, yes? I believe in you, Rasputin. You can find them. You can do it. Put your back. No. It does seem like there's one up here. It is on top of this rock. It sounds like it. Alright, so I could, if I could even get myself up to 400 before we go back to the asylum, that sure hmm. would help. I'm not picking up anything. Might be worth. Must not be going. any deep arrowheads nearby. Alright, we're all out in the wilderness area. However, I did just notice as I was dropping, there is a acrobatic sticky pole. One of those poly sticks. I'm seeing the question in the chat there. Did you do anything for Thanksgiving? Oh, it was lovely. I sat back in my... I'm not even sure how to describe it. It's an old chair. I sat back in my very, very old chair. And I made a Thanksgiving oven tray meal for two. Yeah. Yeah, and I ate it. I ate it all by myself. And it was so good. <laughs> it was effectively my Thanksgiving. I wish I had a happier ending to this story for you, but I do not. It was perfectly lovely. How did everyone else's day of feasting go? I hope there was at least a meal for two involved. For every single person, I mean, of course. Good morning. So nice to see you there. So we can find arrowheads elsewhere. I already turned in the scavenger hunt items. I'd need all of the rest of them, I believe, in order to turn it in again. You can do it at the halfway mark, and then the full mark. It's also saying I have zero of zero brains. Okay, that, ju that must just mean there are no brains in this area. I think I finally... The little marker there in this area was invisible to me for about eight hours of the start of this game. I now understand how the menu works. That's really going to help us going on. Bring brains back to Agent Crawler. Okay. I would love to. That's what we need to do next. We got a couple of arrowheads. We got a couple of scavenger hide items. Hunt items turned in. Let's try the bacon phone now. Do a regroup. Without getting... Immolated. Yes, please. Here we go. Delicious! I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. I didn't know he could extract me. That's fantastic. All right, so maybe he's just in the back room here. I know there is a secondary area hidden behind the panels. All the the beeps and dealy bobs there. But we found it. Maybe this is where he's hiding. Yes, perfect. I just didn't search the area. So, children's brains, which should give me quite a bit of health. You enjoy, kids. Well, Here you go for it. Well, the thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be Sweet. dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right yeah, tools. Just put it right back through the Mercy. nose. Yes. 
but not dangerous. <laughs> is that the it's right that's tool? Why, Just the funnel? And we are good friends. She is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never I don't think anybody asked. We... Again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened Quick to our Quick montage of brain returnment well, here. Let me tell you what our plan hello, is. Hello, hello. Please. Or should I say, howdy, howdy. But say no I more. dare not add a third, lest yeah. I be mistaken for a plastic shark okay, wearing a cowboy plan. hat. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an Good plan, idea. Chloe. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. Oh, you're not asking for human help? And you're so, just... Okay, now short, we could try the authorities, we'll the but best. yeah, try, try your broadcast. For the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya. So, I want all you kids to know. Is Elton okay? I personally well, kissed your be brains before brain I soon. returned them I to promise. you. I promise. Everyone. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help hmm. us save the... Will do. Typical. She's gone. And that's why You're we talking to yourself, right? anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters. Okay. Find the women I... folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet. But soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, yeah. I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually, I think, I think her mind's on other things the at the moment. plan would have <laughs> unfolded well, quite the same, some. regardless One of, of that situation. Should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? Okay. I'd better go. Ooh, can he take me right back to the field? Is that a thing? Tempted. We did get some psy cores, though, didn't go. we? Lots of work Let's Talk hang to around. When you want me to put you back, will you work? Good luck, Rasput. All right. So, we got a couple of the kids. There's still plenty of health energy left to be accrued. Bye for now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sorry it's so early. I hope you enjoy your bed. Oh, I didn't mean to say it quite like that. Yep. All right, jumping down to the side cores. I love his little. <laughs> That's exactly how I would want to do psychic powers if I possessed any. Hold still, I'm gonna. Yeah, that makes it extra cool. Advanced invisibility lasts twice as long now. Mm. Rank 61. Alright, so we got a little extra health. A couple of extra powers. I'm sure more invisibility will help us. I kind of wish that shield was what lasted twice as long. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a long-lasting shield. So should I go back into the... Stump? Or should I return to and have him psionically teleport me. Let's take the opportunity. I mean, he is one of my personal heroes. Hey, personal hero of mine. What is it? I'm ready to go back take me to back. The field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Oh, you're at work. I'm so sorry. I completely believed you. <laughs> but it's that sort of, I need to go back to bed now, I see. The kind that happens when you're at work. I'm so glad you're staying then. <gasps> that makes my day. Okay. I've completely forgotten what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Yes, he just sent me back here. I was like, why are we in the wilderness area? This is where we started. That's why. Sorry. I've learned my lesson, Squirrel. I will not, in fact, see you in hell. Ah, it fe just feels like it. Entering the main campgrounds. Or, should I go right back to the beach, call Linda, and get back to Edgar? I can probably just do that. 
However, we will avoid the mountain lion at all costs. Here we go. Headed back to the water. We will get back on our progress path here. I think I might need an extra glass of coffee. I brought water with me, but mmm. I am not waking up very well. Give me one moment, and I'll be right back with you. I'll leave you in the uh, psychotic view of the clouds. It'll be lovely. Don't worry too much about it. Be right back. All right, I live. Hopefully I have not re-staticked my microphone. And it's so, so very nice to see you all there. Hello, hello. I have my coffee now. This will help incredibly. Did you set the stream on fire while I was gone? You pyrokinetic wizards, you. You desperate, malignant wizards. <laughs> didn't know what else to call you. I, I hope that didn't offend. You desperate, malignant wizards, you. All right. Let's go. We're at the beach. Yep. Seagulls, it's good to see you. I know you can't say the same, prevented as you are by your ancient seagull code. Linda, I missed you. Come to me, darling. Hold me in your fins. What's up, Linda? has a hand. Prepare yourself for passage. Hold me in your hand, Linda. I'm ready. My body especially. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. So nice to see you there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My bassy voice scared you. Upon my sudden return, I didn't mean it. Please don't contact the authorities. This is my only wish. I'm trying to decide if that's just like a small peninsula in the water down there, or is that like an acrobatic stick? I think it's just a small peninsula. It's fine. Oh, you petted royal horses today at the Royal Stables Christmas Market. That sounds amazing. I didn't get to pet any royal horses. I didn't even get to pet any common peasant horses. I feel left out.
Boyd. He's still trying to fight that urge, but I'm proud of him. God, I'm proud. So, with a little extra health, we should now be able to launch ourselves... ourselves. <laughs> I don't know why my brain got so confused there. Into Edgar's mind. Let's clamber on up there. Edgar, it's good to see you. I missed you desperately. What did I pet? What well, not any there? common peasant horses, that's that for sure. My throne, my, to wash like my hands after. My warden. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete I've my been out treatment. here petting the so pyrokinetic mountain lions, I think. Why don't I... Just I just finished the painting. I'll just... <laughs> Kids. Hello, hello. Is this any percent? Ah, I'm sure it is. See? It's definitely Sometimes not a 100% playthrough for sure. You we are missing things. Don't you worry. Face. Why a bullfight? Huh? huh? Edgar, why do you... <laughs> Every time! Every time! The rage of the bullfighter builds within him. Bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. You are obsessed, Edgar. That is why I am here. Chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. His chest kind of looks like that bacon. Making me hungry. Well, uh, Edgar, every time I'm I look at you, I'm... You good? I'm good. He's good. He's fine. Oh, good. You hate to see everything getting picked up. <laughs> well, you're on the right stream, then. It's gonna be a good time. Alright, we're using our Psycho Portal. Let's do this thing. I'm scared. I'm gonna save it first, in case of... My fear gets the better of me, and we need to come back here to where I can ensure Raz has dry pads. All right, moving along. Hmm. What is this? I just Are you slaps it on there. Abstract piece? <laughs> <laughs> no one ever looked like mine. I was like, "What's happening?" Oh, I'd be like, "Ah!" Inside Edgar's mind, what will we find? Saucy That's black like velvet paintings. Mm. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. I love my new color scheme. And sad. All day really she gives him a little zhuzh there. And I can do nothing to help her. Because my creation lacks I want to see that doctor about not that. Stand not Dr. Lobato, a different what? doctor. El Odio. Oh, how odious and hideous. What a beard, too. I wasn't expecting the full bull beard. Jonathan Frakes? Somewhere Is this a cameo? I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh <laughs> Off we go. Into some sort of city streets. Fancy. There's a queen. Our goal. Ah! Uh, that hurt me. Oh my god, are you alright? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Oh, not me. Just the frame. Uh, I see. 
No, I'll stay Maybe down here wounded. Up with a price tag or something. It's giving away art secrets now. Okay. We find ourselves in a courtyard with a fountain and some paints. A couple of figments to grab. Mmm. Injurious graffitos. My favorite. Pardon me for just one moment. Oh, just one moment of pardon. I beg of you. still here? I didn't... I'm sorry. I thought you would have... Mm. I didn't think you'd pardon me. Let's speak to the dog. Then we'll see what we have to do with these glowy paintings. Have you seen any really big Blaine cards around here? I think I hate that bull a lot. Well, just his beard. Bless you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hey, how do you get out of this alley? Or, okay, I'm off. Let's hey, start here. Have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I, I a miss those of that. dogs. A black velvet portrait, it might be called. So the cards, though, uh -huh. sir. Let's stay on topic. So the cards? You know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Yeah, those Can't are the ones. much with four queens, can you? Well, you'd be surprised. Those are exactly the cards those I need. Those are exactly the cards I need. Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. You getting my good side? Okay. Uh, how do you hey. get out of this alley? How do you get out of this alley? We're trapped in here, son. Art is our only escape. Is that like a Fair metaphor, enough. or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. <laughs> They're magic. Okay. Uh, how much do they cost? Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. I I'm would like to buy now. one. As I would like to keep my leg intact. Oh, he is actually drawing a portrait of me. And I look stunning. Thank you, Mr. Dog. That's lovely of you. So, I can buy this one Here's for one zero on arrowheads. Yeah, yeah, check them all out, I'll take of course. It. I got nowhere to go. Here's one of my newest acquisitions. Enjoy your new okay, art yeah, there. And I'll take it. And then how much does this one cost? Sorry, I'll put this one in my... Mm. I don't know where that went exactly. Yes, Five yes, arrows? Uh, sure. The rose. Time to support a local art artist. There. I'd be happy to. So where does the rose take me, I wonder? Not seeing any more figments. Let's try it. Well, see ya. Keep up the street now. Bye. I love you, doggy. Mwah. Here we go. Hmm. It just gives you an item. A rose item. Fair enough. Archway. Nice! Now I can get Edgar's cards. All right, so presumably this bull will continue to do that. Let's not get hit. I need a small trunk tag for this guy. Ooh, bouncy. Yeah. 
though I'm not quite sure now. What the idea is. Hmm. That looks pretty dead endy. Let's check down here. Sensors? No. Just posters. Maybe just a place for some spare figments. Can't quite get up to that clothesline. Uh. Mm. That was bull, but I'll accept it. Smooches, smooches. So I think that lets you hide. And now Ross's head is covered in kisses. Aww. He's, he's just a little cutie. Interesting. So I wonder if you can, like, access windows that are in line in places you could not otherwise escape. That might save our life later. Keep the rose handy. Let's try heading this way. to go anywhere. Maybe I should run to the end of it, just to be sure. Yeah. Mm. Yikes. Alright. So, presumably, there is a way past or into another painting area that I am just not seeing yet. Very effective. <laughs> Which way did I miss? Could just be that I have to go back the way the bull is coming. I mean, that's our only option, really. I was hoping to make it to that one, but that's fine. So yeah, there is one of those windows there I could potentially use. my rose is gone. Do I need to buy a new one from the alleyway every time I use it? I figured it would stick around. Weird. Alright. Just gonna run for it. Not possible. If I can actually avoid it here, it let me stay here for a second. Good. Now, yeah, any other camera angle would be super great. Really, any other camera angle at all. Oh, sorry for the quick camera switching. That is not my intention. That seems pretty easily surmountable. I thought I just had, and yet. No luck. Okay, what a gate. What a very, very strong gate.
Duffel bag tag. Gates open now. Someone is crying back here. Or nearby. I'm not sure where. I wasn't expecting them to be able to do that. Cool. Nice animation. Wait one more time for El Odio. And our first queen. The tiger has stolen the queen. Okay. I suppose I must follow. You're a nice animation. In a moment, Tiger. Give give me a second. Figments. All right, should probably go now. Here we go. Into the tiger's belly. Introducing, fresh from the thriller in Manila, Iowa. Tiger! Nilla, Iowa. That's the one I expected. Yeah. Hello, Tiger. Are we to do brutal combat, you and I? Wake I must up, warn you, man. I have a desperately Tiger fatal finishing denied. move. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? Oh. You this banter my this is really yes. increasing the well, tension. I am looking for some cards. Yes. Then, small fry, I am afraid the same man is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. <laughs> All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then yeah, I yeah, I'm short. Shut up. But only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Okay. Invincible to blasts. Understood. Can be punched. Some good punching. Oh, he's got that combo if you don't get out of the way. Right in the kneecap. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. No, let me go. Ow. Oh, I've got Nelson. I've got Nelson hard. Don't worry, it was only half. How to do it? Kneecaps. Aw, oh, come on. Now it's a full Nelson. I got two of them in a row. Two wrongs don't make a full Nelson. Ouch. That was a little closer than I would have liked, but we did it. Take that, Tiger Knees. strumming of a gentle Spanish guitar, and to you. It's me. I came back through the tiger, uh, and I live now. El Odio. Alright, so we have another p 
portal, presumably back into the streets, where we grew up on the streets. Some sort of dragon or serpent must be a boss to come. Skateboarding. Oh, that's radical. Hello, purse. Don't be sad, purse. I'll be back. Here's the serpent. We have a serpent, a dragon. Who else are we in for? The phoenix. Presumably, or perhaps just some sort of purple cereal mascot. We'll find out when we fight them. Okay, and that brings us all the way around. I don't think I need to talk with him again. We should just be able to jump into the streets. I would assume. Let's see where it takes us. So three more bosses. Thank you. Guess that will now take me back to Edgar instead of the tiger boss. Should I try to get back to that alley and buy another rose? Is a question I'm having. It seems like it's possible to avoid it without. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to do the thing to avoid it without. Seems like having a rose could help in a lot of situations just to shortcut it, but it doesn't seem to be necessary. I also have to go before he swings those. Got it. I should be a little more prepared on the swing. Mm-hmm. Shimmy. Let's shimmy that way next time, huh? We're learning. It's an important part of the process. Shimmy, shimmy. for the right time, which would have been there had I been moving. Let's keep moving. There you go. Okay, that appears to be the dragon card there, so we can run right into another boss battle. There's also a portrait hanger. I don't know what kind of portraits we could put there. We should definitely swing back by the alley, see if his stock has refreshed. Aha! Here, in fact, is another portrait maker with refreshed stock. As if to solve my question for me. So he can sell another rose and... Are for 40. This one's good. Let's take too. that. I wasn't expecting him to sound like that, and I'm so pleased. Hi. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run I love him. on the street together. But now. I love him so much. I don't know what it is about the combination of that face and that soft, sweet voice that's just mm, so soothing. Why don't you guys make a run for it? That's a little on the nose. Like a running of Why the bulls. Why don't you guys just make Get a it? run for it? You couldn't understand. Sorry. Hell Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going understand. to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Oh no, the booze store is closed tomorrow? I'm so sorry to hear that. That sounds like a cruel joke. Hey, can you fight bulls? I got a bull hey, problem. Can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you delicate are talking hands. about Elodio, well, 
There is, of course, only one man who could handle that much bull. <laughs> I love the way you phrased that, sir. Who can do it? Phrase it for me it? again. Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous Dingo Matador Dingo Inflagrante. Never asked him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo Why to help? Why won't they ask Dingo It's just about embarrassment to say his name? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. Scandalous? I'm leaning closer. Tell me what? What happened between Dingo what? and Edgar? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But... <laughs> Even for some extra arrow hurts? Okay. Here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampita Passionado. He seduced Not the dancer, the Lampita and the two Passionado. Together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, oh, Edgar has nothing but the Man, treacherous that pair. Sorry, little and heart. Since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. So that, I think we can safely say now, as a psychologist, that is why the bull has a beard. We now know. Could you tell me again about your dog, friends? Oh, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Why does that sound sarcastic? I think you should. I think that dingo, think sounds, that like dingo sounds like a jerk, is what I think. Uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear I'm a golden sure you with do. a diamond kick me sign on the back. Must be tough. Must be tough. Yeah, I work it out through my painting. Whoa. All right. That's a great story. You should do a painting about it. I just want to spend yes, every moment I can here. in this colleague's company to depart. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Excuse me. That was the wrong time for a sip. Could you tell okay. me again about your dog friends? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Woofy, presumably. Ah, uh, simpler times, right? Well, I've got to go. Lovely to speak with you. I'll be back. Twenty arrowheads for another rose. I'm going to try skipping the rose on the assumption that it's an optional item. But once we start to fail over and over again, I don't know how I've moved that so much. To pardon. When I begin to fail over and over again at a bull sequence that can be easily surpassed with a rose, we'll return and buy it. Until then, jumping into the next boss battle. Actually, let's try our guitar first. Hmm. Fancy. So you can take a painting down. We may have to use this one in multiple locations then. Interesting. That being the case, let me check if it's something to grab or a path forward. I'm assuming it's a path forward. Got it. Looks looks pretty forward. Yeah. One way. So, assumedly, that's where we will go next. So I'll leave the painting there, then, and do this boss battle real quick. We'll be back. I hope I can beat future luchadors. That it's first one was uh, Fresh from an a little close. Victory at the Killings and Billings. I have to improve. Dragon! Hello, dragon. Smell. That smells it's the smell like of dragon. Fear, boy. 
Yeah, no, I mean that. I didn't expect smell. him to sound like that. that. Fear. Oh, that's what that is. No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those <laughs> this went. This isn't down. a metaphor. That's sulfur. <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Ah. Okay. It smells it smells bad. It smells terrible, really. I got the combo. He got the full combo on me. Oh, he's got a flame thingy. It's not the way to say it, but that's what he's got. It's not much of a dodge, really. Unless that kid can fly, he'll never beat the dragon roar. Ah, is that what they're trying to imply? Maybe I can levitate past his... Fire? I can also levitate just to speed up in the battle. That will help a little. Ah, stunned me again. Again, uh, really close Soon to dying. Be dragging your God, I love his victory here. dance. <laughs> hey, are you awake? Did you hear that? <laughs> Did I kick your ass too hard for you to hear my comment about kicking your ass? Second queen achieved. Why, that's two of four. Edgar, are you feeling halfway better? No, still consumed by the storm of artistry. Man, I see. I, can I see. Still smell that guy. Yeah, it's gonna linger. Don't worry. All right, back to the streets then. Back to the streets then. Let's see if we can get to our guitar. Once more. There was our guitar. I saw it there for a second. Yep. All right. There's probably a better way to be doing this, but we'll just go manually. That's fine. the guitar. We got some sensors coming behind us. Let's run for it. And we're back on the progress path. Figments of posters on the walls. Cheaper that way, really. Okay, so is there anything to grab this way? of figments. A little more on that balcony there, and a ladder, weirdly. May as well grab them while we can. Not sure why the ladder here. act as a shortcut. I will leave it in the lower position. So I have a bouncy. One of my very favorites. Okay, that's where we came out. Ledge down there might get us on... Got some swinging to do. Just one figment. I guess there's two figments down there. A slice of melon or something. Let's grab it. Let's grab that slice of melon. It's a banana. And the old 
old shortcut. Oh, that's that's great. Thanks, shortcut. Alright. We got our banana. Let's do this swinging. <laughs> Missed. Missed entirely. real close. Okay. We're on. We're through. We've made it. The sensors are getting intense. Incensed? I don't know. Seeming sewer entrance. Teenage mutant ninja turtles? Possibly. I don't know for sure yet, but it's a strong likelihood. Give me that figment! Give it me! Me it give! <laughs> okay, or not. For entirely too long, or not. So, we have Okay, some what thorns. I was going for here was a creeping vine. The kind that grows up walls. But it just I ended like up it. looking like a truck driver's hairy back. But without the charisma. Yeah, I could see that Black too. Without the charisma like of a truck driver's hairy back. Drunk in her prom dress. This stuff reeks. <laughs> Just awful. Black Velvet hasn't been abused like this since the last time Mom got drunk in her prom dress. It's a little too revealing. Edgar Tegley saved me. You know, the famous inventor of Black Velvet painting. How about Edgar a discount? Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? Natural one. <laughs> yeah, on that right. truck driver's back, I see. You don't give discounts or you don't think he's famous? You don't give discounts or pfft, you don't think he's famous. Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does Voice not make you a so famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from the school wrestling team. They are trouble. Especially the wild animal type. There's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble. Especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a oh, problem no, that's with not me what now? I meant. No, we have no problem. I'm just... No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a oh, Dalmatian? I'm sorry. Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Oh, I think you're very tough. I... Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he... he choked. Cost the team the entire match. Why did he Why choke? Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? Did he physically things? start choking? No. Edgar's girlfriend, Lana Panzoni, dumped him after the first period for Dean Legrand, the head of her cheerleading squad. Techly was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. Well, that's not fair. He was dealing with an emotionally turbulent issue. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. History repeats oh, itself with Dingo right. and Lampita. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, I got some Starting to think this is one and the same event. By the way. See ya. All right. Yes, run. Run from the horror. So we can probably afford these. I'm not sure if they're completely necessary. I would expect so. Expect as many of the paintings as possible to be completely necessary. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Didn't expect to see you here. Didn't expect to see you until later. We had agreed to meet. Wink, wink. 
All right, so there's a portrait hanging place over there that perhaps needs a creeping vine or something. There's also what appears to be a hat box tag. Some figments in the alley below, and then a path over this way. Let's check the path. has a ladder that we can drop. Let's go ahead. Perfect. And another boss arena down there. And it looks like we continue the way of the cat. I'll leave the cat there to remind us. So can I also get through there underneath? I think so. I think I can go either way now. So let's grab these while I have the chance. And I'm not sure which of his two paintings would make more sense here. I guess we'll need to buy both of them. And check. And there's also this. I don't know where that might lead. I don't want to die in a pool of fruit punch, but... Better check it. Fruit punch hoy. Oh, this just looks like a bad place to be. But there are some memories secreted away. Give me that memory vault. Bad little bottom. Edgar's lament. Sorry, did did someone hear something? Lana plus Edgar. Mm, our love shall last as long as this incredible scar on the tree. Mm, prom king and queen, presumably. He did need an apple crate to reach even her shoulders, but that's normal in these sorts of relationships. They were athletic superstars together, one of them still standing on a stump to appear more imposing. When all of a sudden his wrestling friends began acting goofy, it was a disease going around that had been put in the water supply by a Batman villain, but not one of the main ones, no, one you haven't heard of. Then suddenly everything changed when Giant Butt Chin Man joined the cheerleading squad. He allowed Lana to be more flexible than she had before, through some sort of magic powers. Edgar tried to win her back with his muscles, saying, Flexibility isn't everything. Sometimes you need to walk right through a wood door, causing it to shatter into splinters. But she was unconvinced. Unconvinced by this. No, she liked that butt-chin man. That butt, 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 butt-chin man. And so he grew sad, and he lost a lot of wrestling matches as he just thought about Lana and what could have been. It was never the same. This is Edgar's Lament. What a shame. What a tragedy. Please, Dad. I'm begging of you. Good. Good boys. All right. So this, the sewer of his beautiful painted black velvet world above, is kind of quite obviously his high school locker rooms, or lockers along the walls, etc., desks and hallways. He has never really mentally left high school after that moment. That l lamentable moment? I wanted to say lamentatious. That's a little much. Let's tone it down a bit. Oh, it is lamentatious. Shower room. There's all sorts of terrible memories. 
Which is weird because the way. <laughs> How do I know what it's like to be back in high school? Mm, no thank you. No thank you to the explosion. Okay. Interesting. I can apparently get around the city unperturbed by the bull. I would love to be able to get around the city unperturbed by the bull, if that's at all possible. Do speak to my travel agent. Guess who my travel agent is? It's me! How would I ever afford to have a travel agent? Or, like, any sort of thing like that. So I don't know where that ladder leads up to. Let's take another look down our last passage. Ah, I see a humble request in the chat. I will happily rise to the occasion. One moment. Mm. Thank you for your request. Mm. That will help significantly. Thank you very much. All right, headed this way. Last one we haven't explored, I do believe. Got it. All right, we've got a dead end. It's certainly not a living end. I don't know how to describe it exactly. So we must work our way back down into the sewers from another location and end up over there. That being the case, let's check this other ladder. See what our options are. Hi! Maybe not quite the time to check the ladder there. Alright, back to one. Okay. We'll go up. That's the only place where I don't really have a shortcut that I know of. Maybe I do have a shortcut. Take us back down. I don't know where that other sewer thing comes up, but oh well, we'll check it again later. I'll be right back one second here before we jump into the boss arena. Be right back with you. I live. I'm sorry to disappoint. Yeah. 
Yes, indeed. The artists for this game are amazing, indeed. I love every... Every small section of it, including the clairvoyancy portraits and the figments and everything, has so much character. I suppose it would be a good time to save it as well. It's been a while. It's been since the asylum. <laughs> since we've saved it, goodness me. Alright, card number three. The Noble Phoenix. So excited about that phoenix, you know? Introducing oh, I wish there was more coffee. Crushing victory at I don't have any more coffee. Tooth and Duluth. Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally buy tickets to that. Someone might lose a tooth in Duluth. Kaka. That's it. Kaka. Kaka. <laughs> he got me. He really got me with his <laughs> distraction maneuvers. No, no. That's the one that really damages me bad. Alright, so far he has the upper hand. Decidedly. He's back. Really hard to avoid. He's gonna dive bomb. Ah, he found me. I cannot pyrokinetically assist myself. That's probably fair. It's probably for the best. All right, I'm gonna need to try this one again. He got uh, all my health gone. Come on, you nasty little man, you. Ah, so close. What a rude purple blob indeed. All right, we'll have to try it again, and we have a redemption of mystical musical madness. That means it has to get all dramatic. <laughs> It didn't help. Dramatic music. <laughs> get out of there. You actually get two hits on him, it seems, and then they prevent further hits. No combo. Bad combo. That challenger needs to, to roll away from those aerial attacks. Roll away from them. Thank you. <laughs> he gets closer and closer. All right, come on. Stay down, my friend. Just got that full now. Full Nelson again. That wasn't half. Not this time. started moving as soon as he did, and it still wasn't in time. It seems a shame. Right in the grundle! <laughs> I was hoping that would be the last thing I said. Ah, there it is. I was a little too early. Thank you guys for bearing with me there. Glad we got that second try. Well, that's not too hideously embarrassing. Keeps doing that butt smash move. 
Well, I would too with that butt. <laughs> Alright, I think we have one last luchador left. Well, not including Elodio himself. Purse tag. Hey, purse. You're around here somewhere. Don't be sad. I've got a present for you. It's El Odio. The present is death. Purse. There you are. Hello, my sweet. Oh, I left her crying too long, and now her makeup is all... Oh. Alright, so the serpent must be my last boss. It's just wrecking that house of cards every five seconds. I guess we are going back to the streets directly. Or would it be quicker to go back through one of these. I haven't tried doing that yet. Would be the phoenix we need, right? Let me check if this takes us back there. I don't want to redo the boss battle. But yes, I would love to be here. I think that's the right spot. So, we can go back to the sewer. We can buy his paintings there. I'm not sure what they do. Quite the batch. It seems like the boss battle will be along that way, the way of the cat. So I'm not sure if we need those other paintings, but it seems a crying shame to miss them, regardless. I did not intend to do that. Let's take the opportunity to buy some paintings. Since we're already in the territory of things I did not mean to do. Okay, what is this? Yeah. This? Well, maybe you can write it off on your taxes as a loss. A catastrophic loss, even. Enjoy that. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to write this off as a catastrophic loss, please. What? Hey. Ha! Fooled you. What are you going to do now? <laughs> okay. We have paintings. There is one place to put them at the top of this alleyway, which I should probably take advantage of. I don't know what that does. Let's try to get back up there. Hmm. There. So many bananas. I'm gonna be potassium rich by the end of this level. Launching back up here. So sorry. figure out. Window, vine. Let's start with window. Hmm. Well, that seems like quite the shortcut. Wow. Maximum projection depth increased as well. Fantastic. So this must be nearer the last boss battle there. Just have to get down that alleyway. It looks like one more painter, too. Aha, there's the boss battle right there. Behind the painter. So that'll get us right to it. Assuming there would be no point in switching this out for vines, but let's try it regardless. I don't know what it's going to do. Stay back. Alright. Take down. And... 
hand. I love this mechanic. Alright, can I not... Under... Climb. I thought surely that would be a thing if the pattern continues onto the roof, but I cannot seem to monkey bars it. Which is fair enough. So there must be some other place to put this painting. Does not seem to have a purpose there. A little bit tempted to have this with us on the other side, which we can't do unless we go the manual way, but I'm going to take advantage of the shortcut and get right to this last boss battle. Hell yeah. One more sip before we start fighting. Yeah, you and me. We're gonna start fighting. No, no. We're fine. We're, we're cool. I have no qualms with you. That's not quite what I wanted, but we're there. Oh good, it didn't take me in yet. I wanted to grab these figments. Something's crying. Got it. I hope it's a child. Yes, I hope it's an orphan child. Crying, crying. Weeds. Yep. Just that they deserve. Yeah. Who is this character? Who is this orphan hating louse? Oh, sorry, my love. Got it. Hmm. That looks like a secret area behind the fireplace. Oh. Full of secret memories, perhaps. Got it. All right, all cobwebs cleared. That's great. Won't need our duster again. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything in here. Oh, I'm missing so much. So is this Edgar's bed chamber? That was a very weird way of saying it, but I believe it is. Either that or it's Mm. I forget his name. All I w want to call him is Inflagrante Delicto, and I don't think that's his name. I'm pretty sure that's... It's something like that. Hello. Talk to the Matador, who is obsessed with his own reflection, seemingly. And he has a smaller mirror on a arm for just his ass, to check out different angles of his ass. That's weird. I mean, I've seen a lot of weird shit in people's minds. This is... the little ass mirror might be top tier. You might be taking the cake, Matador. Paintings, or rather easels for paintings across the way. No paintings. I wonder what that means. Matador? Uh, you must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? This is me? I don't just hand those out. And that's it. Well, then I do not hand out the towels. Anticipate so. disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. But, 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 a towering but, but, advertisement but, but, was supposed Jim. to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a This isn't a towel idea. boy disguise. Here's it's a better one. You, you brought the towel table boy to the table. And I'll reward you handsomely, which is how I do everything. Sure it is. As an advance, I'll give you Never one of the secret weapons. Finger. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. Oh. Cosmic 
expecting a new merit badge in here. That's awesome. Strike a pose. The power of confusion. You can cloud the minds of others using the power of confusion. Well, that was oddly prescient. But if you use it too much, you will need to pick up more confusion grenades to energize the confusing aspect of your mind. No, no, no. I think we'll have plenty of that to go around. Okay. I can now confuse. Does that work on the bull? Does it work on him? You should really I have so go many questions. Stop. Elodio and I will fight some, but not until we have a good media buzz first. So, get out there and make that some, lazy dog pay You know, media buzz going before I will actually help anyone. We could go out this secret passage. That seems to take us around the advertisement he's asking that I paint. So I don't know if it would be wise to do that. I am curious why there's a secret passage if it doesn't lead to the goal, though, so let's take it and see what it does lead to. <sighs> Sad little suitcase, I've got a tag for you. Sad little suitcase, dry your eyes. I've got in my pocket a special surprise for you. Oh, for you. I cannot get off that line in order to grab this while it's moving. Do it the old-fashioned way. Your capacity to confuse has increased. Yes. You can store more confusion grenades now. All right. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Oh, hey, we've been here before. This is way high up. But we were uh, running around down there. I don't know why it would take you here, except for the confusion increase. Maybe that's all, and then you're supposed to go back. Because this would be like losing progress. <laughs> this would take us halfway back through the level. So it must just be for an upgrade. I'm glad we didn't jump down prematurely. Alright, so we have to figure out how to paint this advertisement. Either ourselves, or by trickery. Your ad here. There is a painter who's waiting. And I also forgot we have the boss fight. Let's do that, because it should fast travel us right back here. And then I won't forget. Hooray. Next up, this should be our last King luchador Cobra. battle before El Odio. was very stable. I was expecting it to be a little more slippery. Hey, Edgar. Nice headgear, freak. What? What? Thank you. You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my constitution. Coach is wrong. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look, I am not <laughs> Edgar Tegley. I'm not, though. My I, name's Rad. I'd still, even now, psycho. wish that I... You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously. Well, he's not I wrong. I don't want to have to hurt I... you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. I mean, I do have confusion grenades. I'm... Are you asking for it? You just asking for it? Is that what's happening? Fusion grenade acquired. All right. Thank you. Oh, ah. hmm. 
Now I'm confused. I didn't. You can't hurt me at all. Because the coach taught me how to concentrate on not feeling the pain. Not I did not throw it the right way. Ah. You feel everything. Like when your girlfriend Lana dumped you for that cheerleader guy. You felt that Why so would you bring that up at a time like this? State semifinals. I think he is literally invincible unless he's confused. Which is fair enough. Oh, I wish I was close enough for those. That would have been nice. Does that hurt Um's feelings? It's a nice tutorial for the confusion grenades. Alright, one more should do it. Ah, I forgot about that part. Yep. Does that hurt, little Edgar? Got him. Mm. I beat mm. you just like I did in high school, mm. loser. Wait. Who am I? <laughs> Confused there. <laughs> For a second. Yeah, I beat you just like in high school. Wait, shoot. <laughs> I love this game so much. What a pleasure it is to play through it again. And I'm so excited for the sequel. I've been like dying to play it, but I haven't wanted to until I refreshed my memory on this. It's been years since I've played this through properly. And so starting in Psychonauts 2 without remembering half of this would have been a shame. Thank you guys for bearing with me. All four luchadors down. We now just need to take out El Odio, however that happens. Let's return to the painter and try to figure out this advertisement. Hello, my friend. Can I convince hey, you? We really gotta get that billboard painted. Okay, man. Here's the plan. Step one, I quit we. Step two, we, which is now just you, runs out there and gets caught Got painting the billboard. Maybe I can distract Got the it. bull while you paint. <laughs> it's so crazy, it's it just might work. Or maybe it's so crazy that it's just extra crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going out there, man. Come on, you're a bulldog. Show some backbone. Plus, who wants to go for a walk? Come who on. Wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go to the park? Dog. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, if we're going to the park, I'll do it. Great. When I say go, boy, get moving. Okay, so do I... seem to do anything at all. Good, good. I just came right back. Right back in my face. Maybe I just need to actually hit him with it? Oh my god. Not him. I'm deaf. <laughs> what? What? Can you hear me? You're getting sleepy. But not too sleepy to go Not what the I wanted billboard. to do. What? It's not a hypnotism hey, grenade. It's his dog. It's Stop just back. confusion. Oh, oh, wait this is minute. not good. God is cat spelled backwards. Oh no! It's tacos. Oh, no. You're thinking of tacos. Oh, no. It's close. Oh, no. I'm shaving just like Daddy. <laughs> I think we're in trouble with the plan. Watch this. Oh no. I had my doubts, but the devil cat has horns. Ah, ah. But I'm right as usual. Really nice job. <laughs> now go back out there and finish the job. It was a good plan. Come on. We tried hard. I love that they have the whole cutscene for that. The horrible plan B. 
Okay, that was a nightmare. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Maybe aim a little better this time. Eh? Go, boy! Yeah, go, boy! Extra. Little top up. Little top up for daddy. No? You good? Dingo Inflagrante. That was his name. Now it's coming back to me. Good job, boy. Mm. It's not great. But I it's better it's just than great, you enough. selfish Come butt. Come see me if you still butt, want your reward. But. You know, but, your advice didn't work. But, really? But then here's some chin. new advice. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that reward? Find it. One autograph. Just the one. You know? Hello, hello. hello. So I nice to see you there. Beer gun on that poster out there. All right, here, take this. But I warn you, I won't be able to sign it. Hmm. Because of the carpal tunnel, no doubt. Understood. All right. Uh, let's go back and speak to our dog friend to thank him for his amazing performance, especially after being so confused. Who's a guy got a kiss for a shout out? I, I think you know perfectly well who and where you need to kiss for a shout out, sir. I think it turned out pretty well. On the other hand, I'm colorblind. It turned out great. And so did your smock. Lovely. I'm gonna save it here. Seems like a good place for saving. And then, how do we get past? I wonder if I can actually confuse the bull all the time now. Maybe that's how I get past everywhere. Or is there even a need? I have arrived. Perhaps this is the final luchador. Uh. Mm. My head and face. Okay, we got all of these, right? So this one is where he comes from. I still can't get in there. We did all four of the other ones. Let's talk to Edgar. I must be missing something. I hope these things are worth it, Edgar. Perfect. Just need to give One them to him. There we go. To her. Pardon me for one moment. Here you go, Edgar. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. I got some cards for you, Edgar. Perfect. One step closer to her. Here you go, Edgar. The last card. Thank you. You said you would get them, and you did. Not everyone is as true to their word, you know. Well, now you can finish your tower. Yes. Now this can all end once and for all. Wow. Looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? All right. So sorry. I thought I heard someone knocking on my door, but it must have been across the hall. It's enough to freak me right out. I hope I didn't miss any important information during the cutscene. It sounds like we're going up. Oh. 
Up we go. That's the ticket. Easy does it. Gentle, try not to disturb the delicate equilibrium of the guards now. And then we burst through. Apparently. I knew you would save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me. Oh, I didn't. How did you kill him? I didn't kill him, him at all. Kill who? I didn't even try. Oh, Dio. <laughs> I didn't. Is that a prerequisite to rescuing you? I'm, oh no! El Odio. All right, Jonathan Frakes, it's time. I have some spears, some angry back spears for the bull. That's gonna hurt my feelings to use against him, but all right. Um, I think I need telekinesis for that. I would also. Love to have confusion grenades and levitation. So. Let's assume he'll be invincible to psi blasts and replace that. Mm, was not in the right strafing mode. Eh. Okay, got one. A little bit hard to pilot, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Boinked by the spear, just as he is about to be. Do it! <laughs> it's rough. So cruel in close quarters. Ah, just a second earlier or later would have been nice. There you are, sir. Good boy. Do I have one left? Yes, there it is. Where am I? Thank you for preparing the school, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off. <gasps> Betrayal! Edgar, listen! There is no you were the bull all along. No Lampita, no Dingo! What? You can't let the junior varsity pep squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! <laughs> o. Give me a B! They stole give me a my happiness! Course. Give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state semi-finals! This is all in his o. mind. No! Wait! Get your eyebrows out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's heal the bull. Let's take these spears out of you, and we'll start there. Oh no! Sorry, I kind of pierced Edgar. Holes in his back. They're called banderillas. Yeah. I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. <sighs> Alright. So now I'm trying to protect the bull. Uh, hey. Can't get a good grip. Give me. Can't get a good Give me grip. these. Oh no. <laughs> Can't get a good grip. Stop hurting my friend. Grip. Can't get a good grip. I don't want. The bull itself. The oh shoot! <laughs> I finally pulled one out and I just stuck it right Can't back get in. A good grip. Get, yeah. No. Once again. Okay. Throw it away. There. Yikes. One more stuck in. Got it. 
Okay. They're all out of him. Let's not get him back in. And I'm assuming we need to... Try to pop him with him. Yeah. No? Come on. That seems like a good plan. while he's distracted from doing that somehow. I'm not sure what they're trying to get me to do. Confusion grenades, perhaps? It did give me one during that battle. I am the mighty El Odio! I have all the power of the bull! Oh yeah, you've got the power and of bull. All weaknesses, all that. Look out! Okay, Here comes now that El you Odio. are a bull, would you like to be poked in the face? <laughs> Who was that? Who got it? <laughs> he didn't lose any health, so I don't think it was the right way. Oh, come on. That is not fair. <laughs> Sorry, Edgar. Yikes. That is such a shame. I'm about to be kicked out of his... Kicked out of his mind. This is so hard to control. Can't get a good grip. Come on. They're back out of him. Jeez. Come on. I don't know why that doesn't seem to hurt him at all. Got shabbing him right on in. Does no damage. I'm not sure. That seems weird. What am I missing? either. It must have something to do with when the bull attacks. Edgar? That's as much health as we've got. Hmm. Is it going to make me start all the way back at the first spearing? Seems so. That's a bit of a shame. standing on the fourth. Back to this part. Phase two. I'm going to look this one up real quick because I'm missing something very obvious. I'm not sure what it is. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the junior varsity oh, cat squad ruin your life. Here. One second. What's up with the junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole me my a happiness! Give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state semi-finals! Everything! Oh, no. Balls! Ah. Ah. All right. No, wait! Edgar! Okay. Ha! 
<laughs> Getting to Black Velvetopia. Pausing the game. One second. Second stage of El Odio. On this stage, your target is vulnerable to the confusion grenade. Throw the grenade at the target quickly, followed by throwing one of the banderillas using telekinesis. Second stage needs to be done within a limited time. While not a fixed countdown timer, you will fail to defeat the second form if you wait too long, which I seem to have. So, I need to confuse him, make him think he's a bull, and immediately stab him with just one of them, seemingly. Just need to be faster, but we're on the right track. Glad to know it. All right. Oh no! I can't believe they're called banderilla. I gotta. I guess I still need to get them out of his bag. It's part of this I'm forgetting. Mm, please don't kill me. All right, come here. This is so. Hard to watch. Poor Edgar. That is gonna kill me real quick. And Edgar is gonna die while I'm collecting health, so. Oh. No, I don't want a confusion grenade. I've confused the hell out of Edgar. <laughs> what a shame. It does help to pull the spears out of his back, though, actually. Keeps him in one spot. Come on. Give me that last Can't one, buddy. Good grip. Can't get a good grip. It's really hard to actually... ...select these. There's Can't no good, good way to... Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. That should be fine. I'm not sure why it's being weird. No, not... Mm. <laughs> okay, they're all out. Now, confusion grenade. And I want to very, very quickly stab him. Ow! Elodio's hit! I wish... Ow! That he only needed like the that. one hit. So now how do I get more confusion grenades? There, I can get them from the flowers, great. More flowers! More confusion grenades. Yes, please. Don't you do it. No, don't do it! Ow! Right in El Odio's butt! <laughs> yeah, it was. This should be the last one. I have one more confusion grenade. Let's do it. Look out! Here comes El Odio! Ow! El Odio is... dying. I hope so. I hope it hurts. Oh, it's delicious. The sad cheerleading. Oh. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. I know, right? Stuck in high school? Um, uh, you made the whole sewer system of your life. I always loved you more. These losers. It's time to forget about it and move on. Make some nice paintings, man. I love your work. Yeah! What a great time. Signed this should put us Edgar pretty close to the end. We now have to climb up the rest of the assignment. You we have cleared all the patrons of the asylum, I believe. I am checking myself out of here. 
You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No. <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have a rage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a test. Okay, Lobato's portrait belongs to me now. Help Edgar conquer his obsession with bullfights done and done. Enjoy your life, my friend. So, where do we put this painting? Oh yes, I use it as my head. I'm trying to fool this uh, rather mad orderly into thinking that I am, in fact, Dr. Lobato. Let's get the whole set. I think we're we're ready. I probably have to do it this way. There we go. Straight jacket. A uh, hideous claw hand, also known as Gloria's Trophy. Ah, I have a hideous claw hand. And finally, the piece de resistance. I am Dr. Lepato, here to steal children's brains. Yes, let me into my private Greetings, elevator, Dr. sir. Lepato. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? I'd love that. Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less what a great, great game. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte, you're... you're... I'm... <laughs> He's got two of them. Well, here I am. Up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum. Wearing a straitjacket. Talking to myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. All right. I'm assuming that elevator here might also go all the way back down to meet up with the one by Boyd as well. We might have a way all the way through. And it could be that we can go back there now and get, like, upgrades and stuff, which would probably be good. I don't think we have any more children's brains to deliver, and health is really the thing I need. So I don't think we have too much of a reason to go back. But nice to know that we can. I am replacing my save games, and I should probably run off and try to find something to eat for the morning, since we're approaching two hours here. That one took us quite a while. But I will be right back here. We have the rest of the asylum to traverse up to the very tippy top, and then I think there's a big boss battle with Dr. Lobato, which may or may not take place inside my mind. I know we have to go back to that... This all ends at the meat circus. <laughs> Back in my mind where those weird meat plants are growing. So there's like two levels. There's the end of the asylum and the meat circus yet to go. And then we'll be done with original Psychonauts. I cannot wait. Hopefully we'll have a chance to jump back in shortly. If not today, tomorrow for sure. And I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for exploring Black Velvetopia with me. I am going to run and find something to eat. And I will see you soon. Goodbye for now. Smooth.